Are you a UTS student on campus? Have you looked up and noticed this building? Ever wondered how it became a reality? Let's uncover what's behind UTS. Hi, I'm Tom. Seeing UTS's campus for the first time blew me away. Coming from other Australian universities, the architecture was a breath of fresh air for me as a student. I spend most of my campus time here in Building 2, UTS Central. Inspired by its artistic yet functional design, I decided to uncover what's behind it. So I assembled a team from my fellow classmates to help get to the bottom of Building 2's design. First off, let's get an overview of the building. Spanning 17 floors with two underground levels, a five-story podium and ten-story tower, Building 2 boasts many globally competitive learning and recreational spaces. The Reading Room supplements the UTS Blake Library to provide students a soothing experience while studying or reading, which is achieved through its triple height atrium offering natural sunlight across an uninterrupted glass facade. Additionally, we should note the Hive Super Lab, a PC2 standard mass teaching space accommodating over 250 students across various science disciplines to collaborate. The Faculty of Law also resides on levels 14 to 16, with access to a moot court and two trial courts to adequately exercise their knowledge. The collaborative classrooms can seat up to 350 people and encourage learning in an avant-garde way, departing from the rigidity that many have experienced in traditional lecture halls. With a Green Star rating of 5, Building 2's sustainability measures include its plastic-free food court, rehomed the trees on the terraces, responsibly sourced steel and timber materials, and the minimal emissions of air pollutants from the considered use of construction products and furnishings. The building was shortlisted for 2021 New South Wales Architecture Awards, wherein sustainability was a vital criterion, and also received the 2019 Australian Glass and Window Association National Design Award. UTS Central was designed by FJC Studio, where we are introduced to design director Richard Francis Jones and project architect James Perry. Paul, wouldn't it be good to interview him? Uh, guys, before we start all that, look, I'm hungry, so can we just go eat? I would say the library, uh, especially level five and onwards, because the, the good quiet space, it's a mix between group study and individual study. Always meeting people here. Um, great place if you want to grab a coffee or lunch and stuff. I usually study um, in other places of building two, like the student learning hub. I think it's cool because it's the only kind of communal spot in UTS, but yeah, I'd love it should be a little cheaper. Like student learning hub uh, just above us is like a great place to like meet up, find your friends, or like just talk to people in general. Because it's actually so central, so everything's there, there's a food court underneath, there's a library on the top. Um, there's a lot of study rooms here, and if you've got group assignments, you can um, hang out in areas that are very loud, and it's alright. Or if you want to study by yourself quietly, there are really nice soundproof rooms as well. I think it's, I think it's quite modern, which is cool. Um, yeah, every store is kind of like the same, but they're also their own vibe as well. The spiral staircase around the corner is like, it's just a nice little spot to take photos or just like bathe in the sun if you want. I would say like the big collaborative classrooms, they're more interactive, you can actually like do food work properly. I'd love there to be more like long rows of tables. Uh, sometimes it can get really busy and like there won't be enough spots to eat or like study. Other than that, there's not much to like complain about building to. It was insightful to hear what the students had to say, but I really wanted to get that insider scoop on UTS Central's design. Wait a second. Is that Australian architect James Perry? I sat down with James Perry, one of the lead project architects, to talk about UTS Central's design process. Thank you for coming in, James. Um, interesting question. From a sustainability point of view, it kind of taps into the campus and taps into the context, the urban context. It actually draws 
uh, power from over the road. So it does a number of things that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, a really key part of us, a part of the strategy here was to bring what is a very small green campus up into the building and how do we do that? From an environment point of view, you're creating a space where students can be outdoors, even in a city campus. You know, definitely every project that we work on, getting the input from clients and, we, and stakeholders and the challenge of actually delivering a building and the pushback um, certainly makes us want to push back in the other direction and make it better. And I mean, this project is an example of that. Inspired by James, I headed to the library to go speak with Sasha Jenkins, Director of User Experience and Planning at UTS. So one of the things that's really different about the design of UTS library is that it's, I suppose, what you would call a deconstructed library. It's a very different way of thinking about the library. It's been a bit of a challenge for staff because I think and even some, for some students, because they, they only think of what's behind the gate. But what we want is for the library to be everywhere. And now that we're digital, we really have that opportunity. So I suppose we're getting expansive around our physical spaces as well, and that we're a bit more in lots of places. We're setting up really good study environments for students. Um, we're always making sure that we're building in more of the things that are in demand, uh, but we're also thinking about the diversity of the student experience. Now knowing what's behind UTS Central, I found myself pondering deeper questions about design in general. Talking to such knowledgeable people has really opened my eyes to the scope of critical thinking and problem solving that goes into designing a space. This building serves not only as an example for innovation and sustainability, but as a testament of what can be achieved from the collaboration of creative, persistent and reflective thinkers. Designed for people that use it, UTS Central will continue to push the envelope of what a supportive student space can deliver.